Easter Sunday is a wonderful time to celebrate the ordinance of baptism. Each time a person goes through the baptismal waters, they are preaching a sermon through that action. The Bible teaches us that we are all sinners and that sin leads to death, eternal separation from God. God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross of Calvary so that through faith in him, we might be forgiven of our sins and have everlasting life. The Apostle Paul said that a person without Jesus is like a dead person. Jesus said, I've come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. We can't know that abundant life that he wants for us until we receive him as our own personal Savior and Lord. Listen to these words that Paul wrote to the church at Rome in Romans chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. As Sierra and Logan come into the waters of baptism, as they are placed beneath the water and then are raised up, signifying that they are dying to self and rising to live a new life with and for Christ. And when that time that we often call death occurs, there is the promise of everlasting life with God our Father, through His Son, Jesus Christ. Sierra, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Logan, upon your profession of faith in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Would you join me in prayer? Oh God, you are so good. We bow before you, recognizing that without you we are sinners who are lost and without hope. But through your grace, you provide for us a way to have our sins forgiven, to be made purified, You teach us in your word. If we confess our sin, you are faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. We love you, Lord. 
We stand amazed at your love for us. As we gaze at the cross that proves that love for us. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We see behind that cross a tomb. The stone rolled away. It is empty. In the message of Easter, Christ is alive. You are living and in the world today and with us in this time of worship. We rejoice in that good news. But even more so, that you call us to join you in the work that you are doing. Thank you for Sierra and Logan for the commitment that they have made to you. Lord, at such an early age, with their lives before them, bless them and use them. And Lord, on this day, encourage all of us to remember our baptisms and the commitments that each of us have made to you. You are faithful. And Lord, we pray that you would find us, your Easter people, to be faithful as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.